modern requirements in test management must allow you to see how changes in one place in your project might cause problems someplace else. In JAMA, you establish relationships between items to provide this traceability. Say we are trying to build a machine. It has requirements that it be able to accomplish use cases as determined by test cases. So what happens if one of the requirements changes? Say, for example, a business analyst discovers that to be successful, the output needs to be 10% higher than we originally thought. When we change the requirement, the use case becomes suspect. Likewise, when we update the use case, the test case needs to be reviewed. All of these dependencies are managed by the relationships between items. In JAMA, relationships are either upstream or downstream. And depending on the relationship rules created by your project administrator, they can either be required or optional. Here the dotted lines show optional relationships and the solid lines are required. Let's see how it works. The easiest way to create a relationship is within the item itself. In the Relationships tab, click Relate Item. Locate the item to relate, select it, and click Relate. Relationships show as you go. You can also create a relationship when you create an item. Say I need a downstream test case from this use case. Right-click to add related item, add the information the system requires, and save. These relationships allow your team to see the potential impact of upstream or downstream changes. A suspect flag appears on any item immediately downstream of an edited item. The suspect flag can be cleared when you review the item to make any necessary edits. The flags appear on the relationships indicator on an item. To see how this works, watch what happens when I change this item. Under the Relationships tab, note that there is a flag on all items immediately downstream from the one I've just changed. JAMA automatically flags these items suspect because we changed something immediately upstream from them. Now let's review one of those downstream items. I make the required edit and commit the change. Then I can click Clear to remove the suspect flag. JAMA only flags items one step downstream as suspect. Items two steps downstream from a change are not automatically flagged. Sometimes, though, you want to see all the potential impact of a change to an item, both upstream and down. That's what impact analysis in the View menu is for. Click it to open a report builder. On the left, select any filters you need, or leave them unchecked to see everything. Then specify how far upstream and downstream you want to see impacts. For this example, let's look all the way up and downstream. Then click Run. The report shows the original item outlined in color and all other items upstream and downstream. To see one of these items, click the ID and that item opens. This lets you see all the impact of changes to an item. The trace view is accessed from sets of information, or by filters, or by release. Trigger the trace view to see what's connected and build traceability as you go. Scroll upstream and downstream to see the bigger picture of what you're developing. You can also pull in relevant information and give your analysis the right context. Notice a gap? It's simple to build out meaningful relationships, whether it's through existing information or by creating new data. The trace view allows you to work with a shared view of the world. You can save and share views with others by exporting to a CSV or by sharing the URL, or you can also bookmark the trace view to the homepage for easy access later.